Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Cradle. So today in this video, I would like to discuss some of the projects that you can do today. And these are really interesting projects and uh, these are not, uh, I mean, not all the projects uh, you will find on popular lists on the internet. So uh, yeah, I, but first few projects are very common and uh, I think they has to be on the list because of a popular demand in the market. So yeah, uh, I would like to discuss all these projects. So maybe if you like any of the project, you can work on them. And if you are new here or if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel and be a part of Programming Cradle family. And also hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live. Now with that being said, uh, let me tell you which is the first project. So the first project and the very popular one is recommendation system. And the reason why I have included this in this uh, list is because most of the companies are working on recommendation system even smaller companies are working on this project and uh, big companies you already know like Amazon, Facebook, Google their uh, main business is from recommendation system so obviously uh, this has to be on the list and it is very important and if you have recommendation system on your resume uh, you will stand out and you will have better chances of getting called for interviews now the next project is chatbot so again a very popular uh, project isn't it so uh, if you go to any website uh, today you will probably find a chatbot on their website and if not in coming future they will also have a chatbot so you you can see that uh, chatbot is again in a very uh, huge demand and if you know how to make a chatbot probably you will get a very good uh, freelance projects as well like uh, uh, if a company is not a very big company and uh, they have some utility website and uh, they want a chatbot they probably hire some freelancer and uh, get it done so if you are into that or if you want to make some extra income out of that so if you learn making a chatbot uh, that will again help you and there are some uh, big companies uh, they are actually working on chatbot full time so that will again uh, help you so yeah chatbot is again a very important and uh, good project that you can do today now the next project is electricity or water consumption so there can be two projects uh, electricity uh, consumption prediction and uh, uh, water uh, consumption prediction so uh, these these can be two different projects but almost similar uh, both are uh, regression problems so you can find the data and uh, you can make a model and uh, based on the past uses you can uh, predict how much electricity will be used by the particular house and based on that you will supply the electricity so this will improve the efficiency uh, you don't have to uh, give extra electricity to the house or like that and many companies are actually working on this problem so if you already have and if you already show that uh, you have already worked on this project and this will be on your resume you will have better chances of getting interview call and if you have done this project uh, really well probably you will crack the interview as well so i think uh, these two projects are actually uh, very uh, interesting now let's move on to the uh, next project which is road sign detection and recognition so this was actually my uh, final year project in college so uh, we used matlab and simulink uh, so and also we developed our own algorithm right from the scratch we didn't use any of the existing algorithms so that was a very good experience and we learned quite a lot now i would like to do this project in deep learning also so that i can see uh, how much better deep learning is doing so obviously deep learning will do much better than uh, we had accuracy of 90 percent or something so i think uh, deep learning algorithms will do better and uh, this uh, road sign detection uh, and recognition project is or you can consider it as a sub project or sub part of uh, autonomous vehicle because uh, when you make autonomous vehicle it has to uh, read all the road signs like speed limit or stay on left stay on right or speed bump is ahead so if the vehicle is able to recognize all those road signs properly it will obviously uh, work fairly well so this can be a sub project of autonomous uh, vehicle so now let's move on to our uh, next project which is music genre uh, prediction so if you are a music lover i think you're gonna like this project 
and uh, probably <clears throat> we all listen to music so i think you going to like it for sure and if you were someone who find it really hard to uh, classify which genre of uh, a particular song is of which genre uh, this project will be uh, really helpful for you i personally find it really hard to classify uh, songs into genres so i think i would do this project as well and also uh, if you uh, see spotify and uh, jio saavn and there are so many music streaming apps so they also need uh, developers or uh, i would say machine learning engineers to work on this so if you have uh, this uh, project on your resume you will have a better chance of getting calls from such companies so and also i would say before moving further i would say uh, if you have interest in something specific like if you want to work on computer vision or if you want to work on time series data or if you are interested in uh, working on uh, signals so uh, first search for uh, those companies and the companies which are working on those projects and then you uh, see what are their product and based on those product you can do some projects so like this way you will have uh, those related projects on your resume and then you if you apply to those companies you will have better chances of getting calls uh, rather than just doing 100 other projects which are not actually relevant to the company and then you are applying to that probably you will have less chances of getting selected but if you do one project which is actually related to that particular company and also you are interested in that that will have a better uh, chances of getting shortlisted uh, for the interview so that is something what i wanted to tell you and now let's move on to some of the next projects uh but uh, next project that i am going to tell you is you probably will find a hard time looking for the data set here and i tried looking for a data set but i couldn't find much but of course we can make our own data set like uh, we can make a, a web scraper and we can scrape websites and we can make our own data set but we need to be careful here because all website doesn't allow us to scrape their data so uh, this is something but uh, if you are able to get the data set for uh, next projects uh, these projects can be uh, really interesting so the project uh, which i'm going to tell you is uh, if a post goes viral or not so isn't it interesting if you already know before uploading something and if you know that it will go viral that would be so much uh, better isn't it so yeah i think it is a very um, interesting project and if you want to upload a photo on instagram and if you think uh, will it do good or not you can just throw it into that uh, um, into your model and it will tell you yes it will do good and or maybe it won't do good so based on that you can decide if you want to post it or not uh, so yeah in my opinion it is actually a very interesting project now let's move on to our next project which is resume shortlist prediction so um, I think most of the companies use this these models uh, they throw they get like thousands of resumes so they throw all the resumes into the model and model selects some of the good resumes and then uh, they get manually uh, checked by the hr and then they give you call to come for interview so if you can make something like this on your own and you uh, make your own resume and then put it to that uh, model and if the model tells you that yes your resume is good uh, then you can apply to the company then if it says uh, no your resume won't be shortlisted so you can work on your resume again and then apply to the companies and if you just applying to all the companies and you don't know if your resume will get shortlisted or not um it is just a waste of time you will be waiting for their call and probably will never uh, hear from that and you will be applying to 100 companies and the results is results are same so you we can make this thing uh, and it will uh, help you a lot but the problem here is finding a data set again so yeah if you can find a data set that would be really great and this project will be really helpful uh i would also like to work on this project but uh, i am still looking for the data set if i can find a data set i will definitely work on this project so yeah these were the projects that i wanted to suggest in this video and like i told you some of the projects like roads and detection and uh, uh, music genre prediction and uh, this resume shortlist prediction so i would like to work on these projects and uh, once i get uh, some time i will start working on these projects 
and also if I can find a data set that would be even better. So I hope you found this video helpful and uh, hope to see you in the next video and uh, don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell icon as well so that you get notified each time when a video goes live and you can let me know in the comment section what projects uh, do you like to make or if you have some uh, nice idea you can share it with us probably uh, we all can give you some suggestions on that and uh, maybe if somebody else is interested you can work with them as well so yeah see you in the next video bye happy learning